guys, welcome to my channel. I'm coming at you today with an e-girl inspired makeup look. I didn't really have any trajectory that I was trying to take. I was just taking inspiration from a lot of different photos that I've seen on Pinterest and I just really wanted to have fun and recreate the look. And I definitely had fun and I don't know if I necessarily recreated the exact vibe of an e-girl but I feel like a bad bitch and I already took a million photos and I absolutely love this look and the colors and the bright cheeks and the lips. I just feel so like inspired. It feels like I just made some art on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So basically the aesthetic I'm trying to achieve is very much like rosy cheeks, very like freckly face, thick ass eyeliner, huge lashes, and like an itty bitty little button nose. It's basically like enlarging all the perimeter features and like shrinking down everything in the middle so that you look real cute, real rabbit like. So I'm gonna pop up some pictures on the screen for some inspiration, but basically, the ones that I'm going to follow are probably more along the lines of like a goth, emo, very much like early 2000s scene kind of vibe, which I don't know why I'm vibing with this, but this is, I feel like it's just so cute and I've always want, I always wanted to be that girl, but I was, um, you know, just brown and curly haired, so I could never, you know, fit in that ideology. There are black and brown e-girls all over the place now, so that makes me just so happy. And I'm gonna be one of them. I've got a couple of mirrors that I'm gonna be working with, so my eyes might be looking all over the place, but it's basically, that's basically where I'm looking, if you guys are wondering. So the inspiration is going to be quite overwhelming, honestly. There's like a lot of options for how people like to do their makeup when it comes to the e-girl vibe because there's like the cottage core e-girl there's the emo e-girl there's like all kinds of e-girls so um i'm really just kind of working with what inspires me all the different features from each one i think the thing that i love the most is the over highlighting that is like ugh, every time i put this primer on i can never grip my my foundation but yeah, my favorite thing about it is definitely um, all the highlighter. And they I noticed that this is like the type of makeup where people use um, a lot of different colored highlighters too, which is something that I never experimented with. Basically, I don't think I own any like unicorn highlighter, but I do own a purple shimmery eyeshadow, which is definitely gonna come into play at some point. Obviously, the whole e-girl aesthetic is very dependent on a strong, flat base because you can't have a blemish in sight when it comes to this type of makeup. I'm not really talking about what products I'm using. I will list them in the description box below, but like, it doesn't matter what you use. What matters is the placement and the technique, I think. Because as long as you have a really good eyeliner, black eyeliner, really light um, and high coverage concealer, and really just like kind of a very exaggerated look, then it doesn't matter what you use because you're just basically using whatever products to create the same vibe. It took me a long time to get comfortable with that. When I was younger and I used to watch all those YouTubers put on their faces, I'd be like, I need that product, I need that product. And then because I could never afford it or my mom didn't wanna buy it for me or whatever, it didn't, I had to like work with what I had and that was usually cheap makeup and I achieved the same effect. So over time I realized it really doesn't fucking matter what you use. So another thing that this is gonna be very scary for me is that a lot of e-girl eyebrows are very straight and I have, a I have a natural little arch on my eyebrow. A lot of it is very like intense and there's this girl on TikTok who like recreates e-girl makeup and tries to show you that it's not that hard to achieve and stuff and she usually funkifies her eyebrows a little bit. A lot of them like to do the little slit. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I will try. 
But basically it's really dark eyebrows and really thick eyebrows. So we're gonna do that. So I never draw my eyebrow underneath. <sighs> Lord. I don't know if I did it. I kind of straightened her out. <laughs> I fucked up. As you can tell, I went a little too um, thick with that one. This is my like bad eye. So I know for a fact that this is gonna turn out like really crappy on this side for my eyebrows because this is just, this eye has like a more prominent brow bone than this one and it's just, it's just always been a pain in my side. You can always try and... Ah! Okay, I need to, I need to do that again. Let's just repeat that part. Ah! Crisis, mildly averted. I think we've kind of achieved the vibe that I want. Just very intense, thick ass brows. Another thing that e-girls really love to do is like the super graphic eyeliner and kind of making false fake under lashes to like really thick fake lashes underneath. I'm not sure if I want to go classic with like just the downturned liner if I want to do like the, the one that goes like this and whips back. Or if I want to be like the double wing, those double wings are kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that because it kind of fits into everything. But first, I think since a lot of this stuff has to do with like very blushy cheeks, very rosy, I don't own a red blush, but I do own this um, bronzer, which is like a bronzer blush from Bare Minerals. This guy I think is what I'm going to go for, for like the base. And then maybe I'm gonna top it with Luminoso from Milani. Oops, probably should have hold it like this. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this. So I've got this big fluffy brush right here. It's like basically the size of my eyeball. And I'm gonna use this to pack on the blush around my eye. <sighs> this could go so wrong. But a lot of the makeup that e-girls do when they do blush is very like loosely placed. You know what I'm saying? It's very much like you're just kind of putting a lot of blush on even if it goes onto your eyeball. So I'm doing that and then I'm going in with this. And a lot of it also goes onto the nose, which kind of vibes I like that I kind of love that actually I want to thicken it around my eyes but I just want to get the rest of my face done honestly I kind of want to add I kind of want to put more on <laughs> am I the crazy one but maybe like soften the edges I think that's all I kind of want to do rather than like lighten it I just want to blur it a little bit this is so nuts to me like <laughs> but you know what are we doing we're trusting the process so now that i look like i've just been um sunburnt i think is the vibe <laughs> i'm gonna layer on a couple more colors because i do want to add a little depth of tone and I don't know if this Luminoso blush has just officially kicked it, but this will add like a nice um, sort of like a pinky shimmer to the cheeks and the nose. Which reminded me that I also have a purple eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on here. So the color that I am going into that I haven't touched since I bought it basically is the My Little Pony ColourPop in Sunbeam. My, what did I just say? 
is the My Little Pony eyeshadow in um, Sunbeam. This eyeshadow is so pretty, but I just never, never used it. Or I think maybe if memory serves me, the reason why I never used this was actually because it's very, um, it's not very pigmented because I think, yeah, that's definitely what it was. These ColourPop eyeshadows were so nice on the finger, but never on a brush. Or maybe this one just was not good anyway. I don't even think you can see that. I just have to literally like ram my finger into here just to get Do I like her? I don't know. I don't know. This is why I love makeup. It's like I'm a little kid. Like I'm letting out my inner child playing, playing, <laughs> just playing with color. It's like I'm painting. So with the nose, I'm just literally putting it right on the tip of my nose, just right on the tip. And right now I've got very alien vibes going on and a pound of purple eyeshadow on my finger. And just to prove to you guys that I literally have not updated my makeup collection in so long, we are using the Betty Mary Luminizer Trio, whatever the fuck, from like a million years ago. Yeah, we're using this guy. And we're using Mary because I literally think that's the only one that matters. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm -hmm. While we're on this theme of just slapping things on my face, I have this palette from a million years ago, the Ooh La La palette. Um, it's from ColourPop and it has a bunch of like pinks and purples. I was just going to mix a few of these and just kind of enhance my eyes because I feel like my eyes are kind of dull in comparison to the rest of my face. So I'm going to go in with like this middle Barbie pink and just coat that, coat that bad boy on there. Why am I even stopping there? I might as well just bring it all the way <laughs> into my face, right? Right. Right? Yeah. Maybe. Am I an e-girl now? Because I definitely feel different. I literally feel like a fairy princess, but we're now trying to change this into an e-girl. So let's get the eyeliner and the lashes put on because I think I'm pretty much done with the rest of my face. Like that's, that's all I wanted to do. Now, unfortunately, my eyeliners are also really old and I don't know if they'll be able to handle the test of this eyeliner look, but we're going to make it work. All right, so we need, I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to use this one because it's the most dried out to map out the shape of my liner and hope for the best. So, fuck, how am I supposed to even do this? Let me just rest my eye. That's so low. That's literally so low. I love it. But that's what we got going on. It's kind of like, it's kind of chaotic. It's um, not thick enough, but we have now liquid, some liquid liner. And this is where we solidify our errors. So I'm gonna do that and get back to you guys because I can't do eyeliner with the camera on and focus on like the camera and stuff. I kind of love it and I'm kind of here for it. This is like the most fun I've had with a makeup look in a long time and I'm here for it for sure. I'm gonna go in with just some mascara from my lower lashes because they're looking like they're not there anymore. Ah! Why do I always do this? No. I literally always have a Q-tip with me because I'm always about to mess up my mascara, like all the time, literally every single time. 
haven't had a moment so far where I've put mascara on and I haven't hit it on my eyebrows or on my nose or whatever. And now for the star of the show, lashes. These are a humongous pack of lashes that I got. They are 30 pairs of lashes that I got off Amazon. And if these don't scream e-girl, I don't know what do. They're like extremely, extremely fluttery lashes. They're like, look at that. You can literally see them curve. They're so huge, but they are very difficult to put on. I will say that because they are so huge. They are extremely difficult to put on. But this is literally like the best glue on the planet. Don't at me. Like no other glue has ever stuck it down to my eyeball. That is unless it has flat. Oh no! Y you, you think you got something good going for you and then shit like that happens. But hey, I got 30 pairs and bam, we have lashes. And they literally touch my eyebrows. And tell me these don't make the look, oh my lord. I, my lips are literally falling off because of Accutane. So bear with me as I put lipstick on. I do have a Barbie pink, which I think would look the best with this makeup look. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And actually just to dull it down a little bit, I am going to use a dark brown lip liner. So then that's not dark brown. So then it'll like look a little less intense, but maybe, maybe it still will, who knows. And the other signature thing is changing your lip shape. Having that little buttony like look is very much e-girl. The big thing with e-girls is that they don't have a cupid's bow, so I'm trying so hard to get rid of mine because it's, mine's pretty pronounced. So this is kind of the shape we've got going on, very cute. Oh, I didn't realize this was a blotted lip. It's an ultra blotted lip, so it might not even look right, but we'll try it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> or maybe, maybe that's the vibe. Actually, that might be the vibe. You know, I thought the lashes made the look, but it's these lips, dude. I mean, come on. Oh my God, am I like, I kind of, you know who I feel like I look like? I kind of look like Lizzie Gills. Is that how you say her name, Gillies? Do I look like I, I belong in the cast of Dynasty? <laughs> you know what else I almost forgot was the freckles. I have this brown um, eyeliner pen from Sephora. I think I'm gonna try making freckles. I've never done this either and I've always wanted to have freckles my whole life. I don't know if it's just, you know, whatever, but I know a lot of people get offended when you say like, you want, you wanted freckles and I was bullied my whole life because of freckles. Girl, who bullied you? Someone who didn't understand the appeal of a freckle. I literally don't even know if this is going to look normal, but I don't know if I necessarily want it to look normal. Why won't you mm, squeeze out? I think my pen is literally dying on me right now. That's why I don't like these felt tip pens because I feel like they don't, like they don't fill all the way, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna, Dab them out with my sponge, just a little. These, this side is like so intense. They look like zits. Ah, so frustrating. Um, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit with blush. But this is basically what I've got for makeup. I'm gonna set it a little bit with my um, Fix Plus. 
I feel kind of like a bad bitch. I really do feel like such a bad bitch and it's only gonna get badder, baby, cause I'm gonna get my wig. The wig is on. I feel like a bad bitch. I feel like, oh my gosh. Disregard the wig application because I've literally put on a wig twice in my entire life and this is the second time. But tell me this black wig does not complete this look. I literally feel like I'm about to go kill somebody. I feel like a hit woman. Hold up. Okay, okay, Megan Fox. Maybe I am Liz. Maybe I am Liz Gillis. I just have to do the smolder right. <laughs> and she sings really well. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, exploration, fun, get ready with me kind of vibe, but I really did. I definitely enjoyed this. I'm going to be trying out some more makeup looks for sure and maybe getting more wigs for sure if I can figure out how to put this one on first. <laughs> it's like half giving Morticia Adams, half giving e-girl, so maybe I need to, maybe I need to like have them in pigtails. <laughs> oh, don't look at that. But like always, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Engage with me, y'all. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye. My phone literally did not recognize my face. <laughs>